So in this phase, we're deep in understanding mode. We're working really hard to lean into user pain and understand the addressable market and understand all the opportunities that we have ahead of us, right? We have to ask the right questions aligned to the outcomes we want to see. And here's the example that I'm going to go into. A business goal that we can look at from the CPO seat or head of product is reducing customer churn by a certain amount or a certain percentage, right? And you want to ask certain questions in order to get there. So some of these questions are, where are the pain points for users who are churning? Where are they getting stuck? Where are they dropping off? What's stopping these users from actually achieving their goals? What are some general trends and feedback that point to this increased frustration for users? What do some typical workflows look, for, look like for customers who are churning? And do we see some super users who are more highly satisfied engage in certain behaviors? And if so, what are they? There are probably a couple more questions that come to your mind as I look through this reducing churn. Um, but these are, these are just a few. And when you go in to answer these questions or get answers to these questions, a lot of, it's taking so much work, right? And you really have to put a ton of work in with your teams to get the data from different sources, to understand where all these pains are and, how, and then synthesize everything. It takes a lot of time. So we're now starting to see the emergence of tools that will allow product managers to put, pull all of their data, data sources together and save time so that they can move on to the next stage of the product management lifecycle. They're also starting to identify patterns across multiple data sources that help them make decisions and you know, get to resolution faster. And these tools will provide actionable recommendations and evidence to justify proposed investments with product managers or for product managers so that they can actually have more effective stakeholder engagement and stakeholder communication.